Ever since I released my CD player versus CD transport video, I've received a lot of mixed emotions about CD transports. Most people are griping about the price and why not just get a CD player that can be used as a transport and a player. Well, today I'm evaluating the Audiolab 6000 CDT, which is just a transport. This experience, as well as other information provided, should be able to answer any questions that may have been left kind of in limbo from that previous video and why CD transports are in fact a great way to listen to our beloved CDs. Hello everyone, I'm Mike, your Hi-Fi Journalist. I'm glad you're here and hope you check out the latest designs on my audio-inspired clothing shop online. I currently have a limited edition 40th anniversary t-shirt celebrating 40 years since the CD was released in 1982. The link's down below. So I've noticed over the last several years with my time within the audio community that it seems to travel in hive minds depending on your platform. For example, if you were curious about whether to purchase a CD player or CD transport, the responses could be polarizing depending on who you ask and where you ask the question. So when you venture into the world of audio forums, always be aware of the hive mind you're engaging with. Now, you're probably wondering, do all CD transports sound the same? Well, the quick and easy answer is yes and no. According to Logic, they should, as they simply output a digital bitstream, but they genuinely don't. The main advantage of using a CD transport instead of a CD player is its versatile and flexible options. Using an external DAC means you can tailor the sound and features exactly how you want them. For some people, the argument for a separate DAC is that once you have more than one digital source feeding your main system, it just makes more sense to buy the best quality DAC you can afford and use it for all the sources rather than spread the same money over multiple DACs inside the source boxes. Makes sense. Now, will you hear huge audible improvements or different sound signature characteristics from one similarly priced transport to another? Probably not. However, with electronics, it can usually come down to the quality of the components used during the engineering and manufacturing process. Another significant advantage of using a CD transport is that it simply has less to do. Fewer things on its plate to sift through. A full-blown CD player must be a transport and a DAC, has a lot, of, has a lot on its plate. <laughs> with the flexibility of not having to deal with engineering a beautifully sounding analog output stage, the engineers can put a bit more effort into the transport, power supply, and digital output stage. Basically, they are tasked with making a machine that will spin that disc flawlessly and provide you with the best performance possible. 
This brings me to our transport I am evaluating today, the AudioLab 6000 CDT. Let's take a look at it. The 6000 CDT is a dedicated CD transport incorporating the exact slot loading mechanism as AudioLab's flagship CD player, the 8300 CD, mounted inside its proper electromagnetically shielded enclosure. I really enjoy it when companies use trickle-down technology from their more expensive offerings because we get to enjoy some of the qualities of the higher-end offerings at much lower price points, which this unit comes in right around $599 on Crutchfield. I will provide links down below. The list of features isn't too long since it's just a simple device that performs one essential function, playing these bad boys. Now, a couple of things that stood out is the slot loading mechanism, which I really enjoy. It's just simpler than its tray loading brother, and it just looks sleek and cool when you insert the CD. This is kind of a nice blend of aesthetics and function that I feel is always important in my disc spinners. The digital clock on this unit is controlled by a highly stable crystal oscillator, which is said to be helpful in the reduction of jitter on the digital output. Now, I have a whole video on jitter, hit it. Please, I encourage you to check it out because it breaks down the subject quite nicely. Uh, a read ahead digital buffer is also provided to reduce disc reading failure. This unit is said to play discs that have been badly damaged, which unfortunately in my collection, it, it's more on the VG or better side of things. But that's definitely a cool feature for those who have, you know, their old high school CD book that's been tossed around over the years. The 6000 CDT also features a minimalist front panel where you can control the functions of the player through the buttons provided, or you can use the remote control supplied in the box. It didn't come with batteries, however. I had a couple of triple it, well, before I blatantly lie to you, I say they were lying around. I actually borrowed them from another remote, so. I found some triple A's. Uh, this unit has been touted by a lot of consumers and reviewers alike, so I am really looking forward to the sound quality analysis. I am also curious if it can compare to other transports I have tested in the past. Let's find out. So after I plugged the 6000 CDT into my HoloMade DAC, which I have found to be quite a revealing DAC, I then plugged the DAC into my Vincent SV200 amplifier and then onto the Tecton 210 Perfect Set that you see right there. Um, my first impressions were positive. Sounds great. It's a nice balanced sound with a beautiful expansive sound stage. I compared it to a couple of different players, uh, the main one kind of like the Cambridge CXA35, and I found that the Audio Lab is very crisp, bright, and all around just fun to play with. It doesn't have any anomalies or strange noises. The operation of the mechanism itself is relatively quiet. You know, this is what's tough about CD transports, guys. The differences are so small for most, probably inaudible. It's difficult to discern from one or the other especially if you're using a really nice external DAC like the Hollow May, which tends to make things, a lot of things sound really good or actually really bad, depending on what you're <laughs> feeding through it. The sound provided by the 6000 CDT is right on par with my expectations, and it was just a delight to listen to. When it comes down to CD transports, if you are buying one that is from a reputable brand and are spending between, I don't know, $300 to $1,000, there are a few important things to take into consideration. Reliability is number one. It's the biggest factor when selecting a transport. You want to make sure there aren't any underlying issues with the internals and haven't heard any chatter online about it breaking down. Uh, frequently or more quicker than it should. Uh, secondly would be aesthetics. Make sure it looks good, you know, on your rack. <laughs> that way it matches well with the other components. Sound quality will be very comparable between similarly priced models that it may be inconsequential to even evaluate, evaluate, evaluate the sound altogether. I mean, it sounds fantastic, guys. It plays my CDs beautifully, but in a blind A-B test, I may or may not be able to tell one from another unless the company really skimped out on parts and didn't provide a like a power 
you know, a powerful, a nice power supply, or ha it has a flawed mechanism, or an inferior digital output stage. So overall, I have no qualms with this transport. I feel for the price, it's an excellent option for those in need of a transport, and especially for those getting back into CDs. Paired with the right DAC, this unit will deliver high quality sound reproduction. And for what you get, I feel the $599 price tag is more than fair. After doing extensive research, I have found that this player has been given the thumbs up by a lot of consumers uh, that have purchased it and maintains a high rating on online retail shops. I think this is a win for Audiolab and I am looking forward to possibly reviewing their actual player so I can sink my teeth into how they design their analog output stage because for me that's more fun is to kind of see how companies, you know, voice their, their components. Thanks so much for joining me guys today. I am grateful that you stayed till the end. If you enjoyed my video and want to watch more, I encourage you to slap that like button, subscribe to the channel and ring the bell to get notified every time I put out new content. Thank you again for watching and I will see you soon.